great. Me too. Uh, 838, coming up next, our guest will show us how to make an easy and inexpensive picture frame just in time for the Valentine's Day holiday. And Esteban, he is here live and in person and in studio along with his daughter. They'll both perform. Take a look at this beautiful picture frame. Isn't this amazing? Amber Schoenberger, Thank you say you. that we can make these at home. Oh, they're very easy. <laughs> believe it or not, I know, and that's the beauty of it is you can spend as much time or as little time. I had started on this one over here, if you take a look, mm -hmm. and it's very easy. If you don't want to paint around it, you can also do like the faux sponge painting oh, around it. Yeah. So this is just a solid base, and all it is is bending the wire. That's Gosh, the easy these part. Gosh, look cute. Mm -hmm. So what, when we go shopping for the picture frame, we don't have to build these picture frames ourselves, no. right? You can get these can at the craft the store. Okay. This one was a dollar when oh, I started. Yeah, so this is a very cheap project, very cost efficient project. <laughs> very it's nice. Great. And you can do it in any color theme, so mm -hmm. you just want to kind of decide. I mean, even if you don't paint, decoupage or something else, glue a collage on or whatnot, and okay. then you can just lacquer over the top. If you look at this as another finished one I've done, I've lacquered over that the top so for the shiny cute. look. Exactly, yeah. How did you do So you actually painted these hearts? You I didn't painted use the hearts. On. No, I You're don't. You're good. I just okay. freehand. Yeah, so if, if you don't, if that's not your thing, then you can paint whatever. You can use a stencil. Stenciling's a great idea. And it helps when you have really great looking pictures like of your boyfriend oh, and your dog. Oh, thank you. There. I know. Well, that he's, helps. he's on business, so I went to his office and <laughs> stole it from him. <laughs> what every man wants is a pink heart in his office. Oh, <laughs> that's so great. So how do we get going with the wire part? That seems like it'd be a little confusing. Okay, so if you just get a pair of pliers mm -hmm. like this, or if you have some other ones, I've just started bending. Um, what I do is I start with about three quarters of an inch, however, however long you want it to stick out from your frame. Mm -hmm. And then what you would do is you just bend that on the end. I'll show you here. Just bend like that. Okay. And that's what's going to actually stick into the frame when you drill your hole. Oh. And then from there, you just start you start bending however, whatever letters you want. It's really easy to bend with your fingers, bend with the wires. Just make sure it stays nice and flat. If it doesn't, you can always lay it on a hard surface, take your hammer, and nail it out flat. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is 18-gauge wire. Got that's what hammer. I use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your hammer. 18-gauge wire is a nice, it's, it's easy enough to bend. It's not too difficult to bend. But then uh, it also holds its shape very nicely. It's okay. not too soft. And then once you bend something, I bend uh, the word joy here. You can see joy. And uh, you want to drill a couple holes that would be suitable for this 18 gauge wire to go in. Mm -hmm. I've done this one at an angle. And then you put after you've drilled those holes. And sometimes if you don't have a drill, not a big deal. I don't have a drill. So I take um, a nail and I hammer a nail in first to make the hole. Okay. And then I replace it with the wire. And that's oh, what I right. do. That's pretty out. easy. If you want it to be even more secure, like on this one, I had these tinier hearts at the top. I put a little dabble of glue in and then I put it in. So and uh, what I've also done here, if you can see kind of from the side views, I put beads on there. You can do charms and beads. That I'll just so take a charm cute. here. So you, you just thread the charm. And very masculine for his oh, office. Oh, yes, it's I so know. Perfect. Poor guy. Good gift. <laughs> Whatever guy wants, pink yeah. hearts in their office. And you can just, you know, weave the charm through until you get it where you want it, and then it will hang off your picture frame like that, oh. which is kind of cute, too. You stick it on there. And, of course, after you've lacquered it and painted it, whatever you do, decoupage, and then you might need to do a little touch-up on redrilling the holes if the paint covers up the holes. But kind of have a start with a plan, and then, oops, and then you have... You're, you can do as many of these as you want. You could do them all over the frame. You don't even have to do words. You could do shapes. I've started to do squigglies here, which would be oh, kind of cute yeah. around. Very contemporary for your house. Okay. Uh, another thing you can do if you want to just do a solid color, I started doing here. Paint like this. Just let me get a good. And do you need to paint. look for a particular type of paint? Acrylic or whatever paint you find is, is okay. great. Yeah, whatever just the craft paint. And, and believe it or not, this is my entire paint collection. That's all I have to do all these frames. Okay. So you don't need a whole lot. It's very, um, very easy project. And then you can take this is a. Just a little, um, 
uh, comb. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I lost my word for a minute. This is a comb, and you can take it and comb through. And you can do wavies with a comb. So you don't have to be able to paint, honestly, people. You don't have to be able to paint. <laughs> you don't need to be yeah. able to do that, you even could, though that's our goal. Exactly. You could double up on colors, and then the color below would show through by the time you did your comb here, which is kind of a neat thing. Look how cool that would look if you did the whole thing. These are great Very ideas. Cool. And These then the wire. Great gifts. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, I, I started with one for my sister, and that was the grand frame. I wish I had that one here. She lives in California. And all of her friends, are calling me constantly and bugging me for one, and so everyone's on a waiting list. <laughs> it takes a little time, people. They need to pay up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Let's make a little business out of it. That's Thank great. you so much. I, I think it's actually something we could tackle, and it mm -hmm. makes a nice project, especially oh, yeah. keep your eyes peeled for the really inexpensive frames, you do like a mirror, you said. Too. A mirror. Good idea. For the bedroom. Thank you so much. You're and I understand familiar. your dad is going to be on. I haven't Next met week, him. Next week, Thursday. He is our... Shoney. Well, he's very tall. So. He's very tall. Hopefully, <laughs> I won't do that interview. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I see where you get the height from. Oh, yes. <laughs> he's the tool guy, right? Yes, he is the tool guy. And he doesn't have a drill for you? I know. I've asked three years in a row. Dad, three years in a row, I've asked for my birthday <laughs> for a drill. I want hey, a drill. Hey, just shoved my feet. Electric I sander. <laughs> electric sander and a stud fighter. Those are the things I want. So. He wants you to have to call him and yeah, need his exactly, help to come over. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank Great you, project. Let's head out to uh, Brad Perry, who I think is also crafty. He's musical. He's crafty. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm a triple threat.